so what is this silly thing? Well, let's start out with there's two types of boiler systems. There's gravity feed, which means the heat of the water moves the water through the hot water system. And there's force feed. Well, force has been pretty much the standard for the last 50 or 60 years. And we've gone away from gravity, but there are gravity systems out there. Some of them have been switched over to uh, force feed by putting a cert pump on. Well, that doesn't mean that they don't flow gravity feed. Because if it was designed gravity feed, or sometimes even if it wasn't designed gravity feed, sometimes these things will gravity feed. Meaning the hot water comes up, displaces the cold water, and it comes back. Where sometimes when this is done, it overheats the structure. Or it heats parts it's not supposed to heat. Something like that. Well, this is a control that is there to eliminate that sort of problem. Uh, it's going to either stop completely any flow or restrict it. They can be put on gravity systems to kind of control the, uh, the amount of water that goes through them. Usually it'll just shut it off. But I think we should probably take this valve apart and look inside and see if we can figure out just how it works. Before I do that, just going to kind of give you an idea of how this thing's piped in. This thing can be piped with just piping this way and this capped off. So this would be coming out of the boiler here, goes to the uh, convectors. Uh, with the bottom plugged off, there, you can put a bypass in them, but I'm not sure why you would. But uh, or this, the top of the boiler can come right into here. This can go over to the uh, uh, expansion tank, and this will go out to the convection. You can do it either way, and. Uh, it's kind of designed so that if it is placed where the top of the boiler comes right up to this, the discharge of the boiler, that it tends to take any bubbles in the system and run them out this way and go up to the expansion tank. Uh, obviously, if you're using a bladder tank, that's it kind of just doesn't apply. But that's how it works. And there's a screw on top of that, and we'll go over what that screw does once I take this valve apart. Okay, here we are cut apart in the valve. And to give you an idea of how this thing works, I've got it turned towards gravity feed as far as it'll go. That's this knob up here uh, turned all the way out. Okay, so now we've got a seat, seat right down here and the valve itself is right here. Now it's going to move up and down, uh, but it won't close. If you notice, it does not close all the way. It's pretty heavy, and so it's going to take some force to, to move it open. But you can see it does not close all the way. If the pump came on, that would put enough force to open this wide open. But the way it's set right now, it could gravity feed. So let's turn it down all the way and let's see what happens. Now here, I have it turned down all the way. Now that seat, you can see it's, it's going on to that seat. And so there's enough room from that shaft up above for this to come down and seat completely. And so in, in this case, because of the weight of this valve, there's probably not going to be any flow at all, gravity flow. If the pump comes on, that'll put pressure there, 
and we'll open it and it'll flow. So the two settings, I mean you can set it in between. Let's take a look at that setting. Take a look at this uh, little thumb wheel there. Okay, that is, that's your adjustment. That is going to limit any flow in gravity feed. In most cases with these valves you're going to want this thumbnail turned all the way down to eliminate gravity flow. But it does have the two adjustments. Now most of the time when you come onto these things this thing is really tight and you may have to loosen the packing in there to, uh, to kind of get that thing to move. Uh, and you got to be sure you don't have any leaks in it when you're done. But it's a very simple valve and it's operated mostly by this weight. So like that again, it's going to start flowing. If the pump comes on and puts pressure down there from below it, it's going to start flowing and then it's going to shut off when the, uh, the pump shuts off. Very simple valve, really not a whole lot to it. But I just thought it'd be interesting to take a look inside this thing and see how it works. So that is the gravity flow check valve for the hot water boiler.